Today, as you know, we are here to celebrate the legacy of Edward Bunker. Like many of the writers who reach out to the PEN America Prison and Justice Writing Program, Mr. Bunker was involved with the justice system for decades before finding significant success as a writer and actor. Basically, Eddie Bunker is the reason I'm here. One thing that he did say that was unbelievable, I remember he said, the whole world can think you're a movie star, but you can't. I, I thank him for that because I have had an unbelievable career because of that man. Thank you. The PEN America Edward Bunker Prize in Fiction is a profound addition to our long history of work with and advocacy on behalf of incarcerated writers. Tonight we honor that incarcerated writers and non-incarcerated writers alike are and will continue to be inspired by not only Mr. Bunker's contribution to letters and film, but also his influence as an aspirational figure. Kyle laid there on his bunk naked. He watched the yellow tiles on the wall move down and stack together to make lines, building around a hole he would never crawl out from. Tyrone reached under the seat and pulled out a half pint. He broke the seal and he hit it hard. And for a minute, he forgot about the boy and what he himself had done. It was all pushed back a little, just a little. And then it was back again. But just thinking, if all things considered, it's not just best and easiest for my own mental well-being and all to imagine he's, well, released and free. On our trips to Chet's, he would take me around the grounds and show me his barn, his animals. We would sit on the porch and talk. Then the procession would pass with Mima acting as the caboose. <laughs> Mima would pat me on the shoulder and say, honey, he can't hear, hear a word you're saying. <laughs> with momentum still carrying it forward, the bird dips its beak and snatches the much reduced remainder of the popsicle from Brady's hand, then veers out over the water, lost in a crowd of other gulls, all jostling and screeching what sounded uncannily like cackling laughter. I couldn't get a good night's sleep on account of choppers and jets that were constantly coming and going. It was bright as hell, too, like a night game at Wrigley, only it was every night, and the people, oh my god, the people. What had been dull gray was now marked with sprays and swirls of glowing colors, pinks and greens and purples, as if the ceiling had been painted with light. It, it didn't look much like the Milky Way. It was a more fantastic collection, like, like glowing nebulas, clouds of stardust and remnants of supernovas splashed across otherwise starless space. Please, one more round of applause for these unbelievable readers. And one unbelievable round of applause to the writers who can't be here tonight.